Hello everybody, Sophie Goose here with another unboxing video and today we're going to be venturing into the world of Sofubi or soft Japanese vinyl figures which um, I admit are not a huge part of my collection. You are physically looking at my entire Sofubi collection right here right now but um, I definitely appreciate the artistry and the kind of beautiful sculpt work and the unique painting techniques that are used when it comes to making these Japanese soft vinyl figures. And um, as you can probably tell from what I have here, I have an interest in the Vinyl Artist Gasha series, or the VAG series, um, that being between these two here. The first being a Bake Kujira figure from Candy Bolton. Um, this is probably my favorite in my collection. I just love just the really nice little sculpt work and detail in there and the very interesting spray paint mask that's on it. And then also from the Vinyl Artist Gasha series, here is an Anthony from Hinatik, which I believe is from artist and designer Kaori Hinata. And then a few of you guys are going to recognize this one right here. This is Hob from Toy Pizza. This is one of their little critters in their expanded universe. So yeah, so my interest in Safubi is mostly with kind of the smaller side, um, independently made, artist-driven kind of side of it. Um, these are definitely pieces meant for display and not play, but I've just found myself really interested in the kind of smaller, more artist-driven side of Safubi as opposed to the much larger ones that are out there. You know, I like to have things that I can display with my action figures and play around with a little bit. A couple of these guys have a smidge of articulation here and there. Just, it's kind of an interesting part of the toy world that, while it's not exactly my thing, I still find myself really interested in from time to time. And very recently, a uh, group of artists and a very fun page that I've been following on Instagram for a while released a set of mini Sofubi blind boxes. So I am very excited to go over that today. And before we get started, I am going to show some of the packing material that came with this figure in this blind box, just because the packaging design and everything was so super fun. So the artist that I got this set from is right there. It's the Anonymous Rat, and I followed them over on Instagram. Um, I'll be putting links to their socials in the description because I just really like the kind of art style that these people are making. Very quirky, very fun, very bright neon color, very surrealist humor kind of thing. And uh, on the back, we have a little bit more of their information here. So they make uh, vinyl and resin toys. Obviously, they have a lot of really nice Sofubi pieces. And then they have uh, their enamel pins, which I plan on getting some for for my pin jacket. They're really fun. They have their prints, their paintings, and full of goofiness is definitely accurate for this company. And there's their website and Instagram tag there. Going off the idea of them having a whole bunch of goofiness, my order included, this lovely little decal, <laughs> which uh, just kind of encapsulates their very bizarre <laughs> kind of humor. I believe that character in there is the anonymous rat a mysterious entity within their little universe. And then they have some stuff on the back for their Stinging Duck, which is part of their Duckman series. Actually, this is a good place for me to show off their different characters. So first things first, you have this guy in the center here. That is the Stinging Duck, who is a manta ray duck hybrid creature. And then in the top, you have Duckman here in some wrestling gear. Duckman is one of their main characters who is this very interesting anthropomorphic duck that hunts and eats these little guys down here, which are the peach men, who are, as the name implies, peaches that are also men. <laughs> little anthropomorphized peach creatures. And uh, they actually included with this little set here and the one that I bought, a little card talking a bit more about the lore of Peach Man. So I'll give that a read here real quick. 
Ahem. <clears throat> Peach Man loves to live life on the wild side. He's small and cute and usually gets nervous, but after a few sips of peach juice, I'm doing the little quotation marks with my fingers, you can't see it, you never know what might happen next. There are two versions of Peach Man. Evolved Peach Man has already lived a long life, and when he became an adult, he grew arms. Petite Peach Man is little, and he hasn't seen the harsh realities of the world yet or grown arms. Peach Man is very goofy and is always nervous. There you have both Evolved and Petite Peach Man. One of the blind boxes will be opening, and then they have a link to their characters page. And I really do recommend going on their website and looking up their character information, because they have little profiles on there about all their stuff. It's all very quirky and surreal, and I just, I dig it a lot. It's a lot of fun. But anyway, moving on to the main event, we have their Petite Peach Man blind box. Series one, and I'm going to take some time to show off this box because it's wonderful. Just a loving amount of ridiculousness going on here. So the front of the box has their uh, Duckman character dressed up as the Haribo Gummy Bear Bear um, gathering up some peach men to eat. So Duckman and Stinging Duck and other members of their species all eat peach men and naturally hunt them down in the poor peach men are always having to deal with the horrors of being hunted down by the duck men. And let's see here. They have, instead of the Haribo slogan, they have the tasty world of peach man. Duck man is our number one fan. I, I love all the little things in here and I love the little parody of Haribo because I'm a big fan of sweets and I enjoy a fair share of gummies in my time, probably too much. On the top, they have their anonymous rat, this Petite Beach Man Blind Box Series 1. Then on the side, we see who all we can get. I'll talk more in depth about which ones I'm aiming for in a bit. But uh, one thing that's neat on here is there are rare hand-painted customs by Number One Ratty, who is the artist, I believe. And then we have Designed by Number One Ratty, Limited Edition. I don't know what I'd do if I get one of the custom ones. Uh, be very happy, but I always get worried when I have custom stuff because I'm always worried I'm going to mess with it, break it, chip the paint. Kind of a catch-22 for me. Then on the bottom, we have the Peach Man Blind Box Series 1 designed by Number Ready in Chicago. There are links. And then an Anonymous Ref Seal of Authenticity. And do not eat, love me instead. Aw. This one I'm going to take some time to read as well. It comes with nutrition facts. So the serving size is one juicy peach man. Servings per container, never enough. <laughs> uh, there's six colorways, plus some mystery surprises. Ooh. So the ones that we have per case are original peach, which is one in six, rainbow love, which is one in six, um, two glow-in-the-dark variants, those being nuclear green and poison peach, and then the see-through specials, which are grape soda sparkle, grape soda purple sparkle, and golden sparkle peach, and mystery one-offs. And we have what, a, what we contain of our daily values here. We have cuteness, 100%, nervousness, 28%, happiness, 74%, and a big peachy butt, 100%. Let's see here. As Dr. Doc always says, eat less poultry, eat more peaches. But please, humans, do not eat small parts, ages 18 plus only. And Anonymous Rat, all rights reserved, made in China. I love how detailed this little box is. I love that they went out of their way to just cover every single piece of it with a little bit of quirky, fun humor. I, I love the nutritional information and everything like that. But... As for which ones I'm aiming for today, I would love Rainbow Love, Poison Peach, or the uh, Grape Soda Sparkle one. Those are kind of my favorites. I'm, I'm a sucker for anything with like nice combination shades of red and pink, rainbow stuff, or purple. So I'm very excited to see what we get here. Oh, I forgot a side. Let's take a look at that. Oh, it's got a sticker. Got a little... Packaged by number one Ratty on March 21st, 2021. I wonder if 
a bunch of other their later releases are going to have custom stickers like that. And it says our custom. Let me see. Do, do, do. Our hardworking bee ducks are the pros. Trust anonymous rats for your daily supply of tasty peach men, and be happy every day. Gosh, I love this kind of attention to detail. Anyway, though, let's take a look and see what we got. I believe these are still in stock at the time of recording this video. They're really reasonably reasonably priced. So we will see what we get here. So we have a little baggie with a little Ziploc there and yay! I got one of the ones I wanted. Ah, Grape Soda Boy. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my goodness, I love him. Look at this little baby. It's got little blue and green lips and like literally it's glitter embedded in the plastic. Got little feet. Are those articulated? Yeah, articulated feetsies. There's something really satisfying about Sofubi joints. Just the way they gently click when they turn. Little baby peach man. Little petite peach man. Of course, has the butt hanging out of his trousers. <laughs> Because he's a peach. And then, oh, that's neat. Anonymous rat on the bottom of his feet, like a little brand or tattoo. Oh my goodness, that is so adorable. <laughs> Feels really nice in hand, too. Very high quality. Gosh, the paint feels nice. The masking's really nice. Gosh, that looks great. Little baby peach man. Let me see here. We'll bring back a couple of the other Sofubi boys for a size comparison. Let me see. Oh, that'll do. So we have Kingdom Rat Trap. And then. have a Faden nearby. I always use like some sort of glass figure for size comparison here. Um, not a Faden, but I do have Zellin. You guys might be hearing my dog back there. She's gotten very annoyed that I'm recording and not paying attention to her. <laughs> and then I think that'll do. I'd say he's maybe... He's like one and a half inches tall, maybe? Gosh, this thing is adorable. <laughs> I'm very happy with this. I was expecting it to be like, yeah, this is neat, and I'll enjoy having it on my shelf. But like, I love this little guy. He feels so good in hand. He's adorable. Got the little feet. Not just that, but the actual box is going to make for a really nice display piece too. I have a couple of things on my shelf that I keep the boxes with and I think this will be one of them. He's so cute. <laughs> Very happy with this little guy. So um, if you're interested in getting one of these, I'll have a link to their shop and their socials in the uh, description below. But as for me, I will gladly be displaying this guy up on my shelf and giving him much love. And hopefully once the weather gets nicer, some nice outdoor shots to really show off that glittery shine. But uh, yeah, so this is Sophie Goose signing out. I hope you enjoyed me. <laughs> Uh, reading many, many pieces of information about a surreal world filled with duck people and peach people. And uh, you have a good one.